Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 40, and I'm back to double-checking numbers just to make sure I read it right. Uh, episode 40, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. We found the secret hidden training area. We've been talking a lot. There's been a lot of talking. This is one of the more talky parts of the game, which is fine. I like that. Um... It feels like it drags on, but I think that's because I'm explaining all the answer options and then explaining my thoughts for all the answer options. Um, so, so you get an idea of what I picked and why, and you, you see the results. Because um, if you look at that, I am almost capped out on the light side scale, and I keep moving the mouse like you can see it. I still haven't figured out why the game capture does not capture the mouse, but okay, fine, so be it. Um... <clears throat> So, uh, I'll have to check the desktop capture later. Uh, so, yeah, I am almost tapped out on the light side. Um, Hatton's only moved a little bit. I, I wonder if we'll be able to get him, get him all the way up. Yeah, and Miss Grey Jedi is very much a Grey Jedi. We might budge that eventually, maybe. Probably not. All right, let's uh, get out of this. And let's get down to business. To business. Because there's... Oh, we need to talk to Atten first. Now, let's talk to Kriya. Let us keep moving. There is nothing more to be gained here. Uh... I want to explore a little longer, then we can go. Very well, but we should not remain here too long. Okay. What about you, Atten? Hey, you're back with us. We were just on our way to rescue you from those ghost women when... Uh, we got locked up. All right, uh, I just wanted to check on you. No, enough of your excuses. Rescuing me with what? Your Chani training? Uh, that seems... Mm. Whatever, shake it off. Are you okay? Yeah, let's go with are you okay. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Uh, how did things go with the Jedi here? Are you all done? Uh, not yet, so to speak. Let's go with not yet. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to hear. You've done enough. You can go if you want. Enough talk. Then leave. Now let's go with you've done enough. You can go if you want. Oh, that's no, right. She's going to give him the you. Complaining. <laughs> I'm with you until things start going better for you. We need to stick together, you know? Mm -hmm. Who knows? I might be able to help you out of a tight spot at some point. Thanks. I appreciate it. You surprised me. I thought you'd want to jump ship as soon as you could. Now let's go with thanks. Ah, uh, hey. No mention it. <laughs> it's my pleasure. All right then, let's go. I thought I could bug him about the Achani training thing, but that might be later, or the provocative one. Uh, yeah. So I might have to look into that later. Let's talk to the handmaiden. You are the exile, the one Atris warned us about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. She's right, you're lucky I don't kill y'all. Atris is the one who should be worried. Well, don't believe everything she says. And what did Atris say? Let's go with the question. She said you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. That's only half right. Uh, she's just teasing. I'm not really back. No, I went to war to protect others, not to fight. Going to war was necessary. Oh... No, nah, I want to protect others, not to fight. Let's go with that. That is not all she says. Uh -huh. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own oh. instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark. Oh my. Uh, I do not walk the path of the dark side. And why was that? What? Dark side? No, let's go with I do not walk the path of the dark side. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Uh, <laughs> if that were the case, I would have fought in the Jedi Civil War. Uh, so why didn't I keep fighting in the Jedi Civil War? That doesn't explain why I stopped fighting after the Mandalorian Wars. Now let's go with that one. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic... 
You did not march with them, because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the force. Um. <laughs> Alright, anything else? Untrue, but she's entitled to her opinion. Force aside, I was tempted to attack the Jedi, but didn't. No, I didn't march with them because it was my choice. So it was a matter of choice then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. <laughs> you inform her, because she sure ain't listen to me. All right. Did she... <laughs> I'd rather jab myself with a stunner. What else should you accuse me of? Uh, nah, did she say anything else? I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings mm -hmm. toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Mm-hmm. Expressed feelings? Yes. It is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. So what do you think her heart says? So Idris doesn't know her own heart? Are you saying she could be wrong about me? Let's go with the first one. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of mm -hmm. expression. It is heart and despair. And an excuse to use the game mechanics. Uh, well, I have no wish to fight Atreus. If I fought Atreus, then that might... <laughs> uh, never mind. Now, nah, let's go with I have no wish to fight her. Then her expressed feelings will have to suffice. All right, let me see if I can provoke you. Yeah. Um, you look different. Let's go with that. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. Oh, okay. Uh, somebody already warned me about apologies, so let's just go with different mother but the same father? I do not wish to discuss nope. it. If there is something okay. else you wish to ask, you may do so. How do I provoke you into combat? All right. Is it a sensitive subject? It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you All and right, I. All right, that's fair. And such trust takes time. All right. And let's try something else. You may ask. Um. She said. Okay. Um. Before you go, Exile. Okay, there we go. For you, if I may ask it. You have touched the force. What does it feel like? Uh, I only know what its loss feels like. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, it's difficult to describe. Please. I wish to know. Hmm. Maybe I'll speak of it some other time. You know when you die, so unless you seek death, leave it be. I only know what laws, so many things, yet you know when you feel it without question, the warmth of the sun without glare, like a current, imagine awakening. Uh, let's go with that one. It is like a cloud, a mist that drifts from living creature to creature, set in motion by currents. Oh, thank you for that. It is the eye of the storm. The passions of all living things turned into energy, into a chorus. It is the rising swell at the end of life, the promise of new territories and new blood, the call of new mysteries in the dark. I see. Thank you both. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. All right. It was my pleasure. If you have any further questions. Ooh, we got some light side points. I thought I was supposed to be able to provoke her into combat. Uh, no. Let me go try to provoke one of the other sisters into combat then. Why have you approached me? Do all these women look alike? 
Not like I'm complaining. I mean, it's, well, it's uh, interesting. They are mm -hmm. Chani. It is not unusual for their children to share similar features from the same parents. If you have a reason for approaching me, speak it. I'm looking for a fight. I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many me. principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. All right. Teach it. Oh yes. We train extensively in various combat styles, and we have not had another target for some time. You may prove a pleasant diversion. Okay. Then I'll be happy to oblige. I could use a good sparring match. Alright, then I'll be happy to Very oblige. Well. Follow me, and we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic of our teachings. So many jokes. Uh, why am I down on my skivvies? Are you familiar with Ichani traditions? Nope. <laughs> Does it have anything to do with why you wanted me to disrobe? I guess they involve me standing here freezing in my jumpsuit. Uh, let's uh, let's go with the second one. All duels between us shall be without armor of any kind. There shall be no restrictions okay. upon our movements or upon yours. Your feet are not to leave the training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Oh. Also, this is not a fight to the death. Restrain your instincts when we fight, and we shall do the same. Okay. I understand. Stay on the mat. No armor, no striking to kill. Fine if you're ready to fight. So am I. Yeah, let's go with that first the one. The fight will be with hands and feet only. No stimulants, shields, weapons, or other items. Also, do not call hmm. upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be over. In well, turn, okay, then. I will not use our higher forms, for this is only an opening battle between us. A test of each other's strength. All right, that's fair. All right, if you're ready, so am I. Then let us begin. Do, do, do. In the corner. Oh, oh, oh. It leaves me all those options, even if I shouldn't. Um, yeah, let's try uh, throwing in a couple of flurries. And then a crit. And another flurry. Bam, bam, bam. Come on. This Get those flurries in. Flurry, flurry! The more punches you throw, the more you're likely to hit. Oh, block. There we go. Succeeded. If you wish, you may challenge us again. And we will oh yes, I wish. I wish to save first. Okay. Let me heal up and then I'll be ready to fight again. Seek one of us out when you wish to fight and we shall honor your request. Beautiful. Uh, can I use my force abilities now? Do, do I have to go uh, suit up again? Let me let me let me suit myself up again. All right, uh, that's the armband. Let me grab an energy shield. Hmm, the Achani shields are better though. Uh, but I got like seven of them. No, you know what? Eighty points. 100 points, 40 points. And that's got a wider range than either of those. Let me go ahead and get the Achani shield. Just so I got something on there. And let me grab my double-bladed sword. No. A Sith War Sword, because that was 2 to 12, that's 5 to 25, yeah. There we go. Alright, and... Oh, good, I get to look at some of the other robes, because I had this uh, Initiate Armor with a couple, of, a couple of bits of armor that I fluffed it up with, and that gives me Regen 2, plus 1 to Fort, 
defense bonus of four. This is going to restrict uh, slightly higher defense bonus, but it's going to restrict my ability to use force points slightly more, but same. Uh, same. Okay. Lower defense and... Yeah. Okay. There we go. So... This is going to get me force points for generation. But from a defense bonus of four to a defense bonus of two or one. Okay, so the Dark Jedi Knight Robe can be... All right, so if I can upgrade the Dark Jedi Knight Robe to get me at least an armor bonus of four... Then I might hang on to that above and beyond the uh, initiate armor that I've got. In the meantime, let me equip that. So that is all my stuff equipped. Just to double check, he's got all his stuff. She's got all her stuff. All right. Let me uh, save. That's ah, right. That was the other thing because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to lose progress by a glitch or something. We're 16 minutes in. So let me double check the second challenge. Okay, there's gonna there's a series of five challenges. So we just finished the first of five. Here comes the second. Again? All right. Ow, I'm naked again. All right. I wish to challenge you. Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle will be using the higher forms among the Ichani. You may choose hmm. hands and feet, or whatever melee weapon you wish, but use no other items. Alright, so we get a melee weapon, weapon but nothing else. Alright, I am ready. Let's go. Alright. No force powers still. Let me, uh... Flurry, flurry. Crit. Flurry. I don't, I don't like the flurry. Oh, never mind. That first one always seems to hit. I, I might just do the regular attacks then. That went quicker. You may challenge us again, and we will progress to more advanced movements. All right, let me heal up. Seek one of us out when you wish to fight. Oh, and we shall well, believe me, I will. Because uh, what I want to do is, <laughs> I want to get my armor back on. Oh, okay. So I did have the shields at least. All right, let me resuit up my armor because uh, the th uh, okay the third time we can use any powers we any items and powers we like. The fourth time we'll face off against two. Okay, all right. So this is at least netting us equipment. And stuff like that. I've got myself re-equipped with everything. Let me do a quick improved heal. All right, let the force points regenerate. And while that is happening, let's go ahead and do another save game. Because I'm paranoid about losing things. All right. There we go. And... Force points are back up to the top. Good. Have you returned to fight again? Oh, seriously. You just want to see me naked, don't you? Don't answer that. All right, I wish to challenge you again. Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle shall be free of restriction on weapons and items. And you may use whatever right. technique, Jedi or otherwise, you wish to attempt. But I clearly can't use my armor. I will spare none of our forms against you. Okay. <sighs> I'm as ready as I can be. Is you keep stripping me of my armor. Alright. So let's see. Do I want to go with stasis or the force whirlwind? Let's do the force whirlwind. While she's holding there, let me hit up Night Valor. 
and then I'll start flurrying and we'll figure out from there. Oh, that didn't work. All right, well, at least I got the Valor buff. Let's get a heal in the queue real quick. This will teach you. All right. Um. You oh. Know much of melee combat. You surprised me. Okay. That went quicker. All right, let me heal up, and I'll be ready to fight again. There is nothing more that we can teach you from such contests. Such battle would only be for battle's sake. <laughs> Sounds fine to me. Oh, oh, that's a dig. If you can't defeat me alone, then feel free to pair up. If that is what you wish, then we shall honor it. We shall see how we <laughs> against a group of us. We shall take you in a pair, using everything at our disposal. Use whatever item yeah. or Jedi technique you wish. We shall match it. All right, let me get ready see and I'll return. us out when you wish to fight, and we shall honor your request. <laughs> Sting the pride there a little bit, and uh, yeah, all right. Let's get the armor on. Okay, that is all our stuff, right? Good. You know what? Yes. Let me use her force points for the heal. Good. There we go. Are you done? Okay, let me go ahead and save. So that was the third of five challenges. Third of five challenges. And uh, we'll see four and five as a part of the next episode. Because I'm really trying to keep these to 20, 25 minutes, give or take. Eh? Nah, let's fit, let's fit in one more. Let's see if we can get four or five in there real quick. I did just save that, right? Yep. All right. Well, let's go. To fight again? <sighs> again with the no armor. Fine. Fine. All right, let's do it. More that we can teach you from such contests. Such battle would only be for battle's Ow. sake. All right. If pair up then. You wish, then we shall honor it. We shall see how you fight against a group of us. We shall take you in a pair. Using everything at our disposal. Use whatever item, weapon, or Jedi technique you wish. I think instead of we doing the flurries, it. I might just use the regular two-weapon fighting. Because uh, the penalties on the second and third attack on the flurry seem to be missing fairly consistently. So if I do a regular attack and I have a dual weapon, that should still hit two, two go-rounds at a lower penalty. So, uh... Let's try then that. All right. Begin. So, here's what I want to do then. I want to see if I can stun one. I'll pop a battle stimulant. Do the Night Valor. And then... Could do the power attack. No, I need to cut the penalties on that before I start doubling in on the power attack. We'll hit an attack and then go from there. Oh. Probably gonna need a heal by the time I actually get there. Yeah. That. Okay, so regular attacks are gonna get us more consistent damage on these guys for the moment. I don't know. Let's get that heal in quicker. I don't have a melee. I, I probably should have... Yeah, I should have equipped one of the melee shields. I'll do that for Battle 5. Um, I'm not going to keep bumping the stasis in the... Well, I'll try the Whirlwind again anyway. Who knows? It could work. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Um, I need to get more heals in. Out of force points. Oh, but I do have med packs, right? Yeah. All right. Let me do the med pack. 
and then some more attacks. Pop that med back. Pop a second one. Yeah, I hate that I'm about ready to go through a whole bunch of med packs, but I can make more. Not a life support pack. Let me, let me use a regular med pack. I'll have heals back up in a second. And I'll keep letting the force points regenerate. Um, yeah. Because I think she'll be down in a second. Alright, so let's go ahead and do an attack, drop a heal, do another med pack, and then an attack. I wish I had more group attack type stuff, but apparently I don't. Yeah. I hate that I'm about ready to burn through all these med packs. Oh, what's with the... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to need my Force Valor as soon as I can. That appears to have worn off. Where's my Battle Stimulant? Because I seem to be missing a little bit more. Nope, nope, never mind. There goes the attacks. Let me get another med pack in the queue. Because uh, I was taking some hits there for a minute. Yeah, one more hit. There we go. opponent. Atrus was correct about you. You know much of war and battle. Perhaps too much. Uh, so you admit defeat. I admit nothing. The Ichani stand together. To defeat one or two of us says nothing of how a true battle would go. Okay, then. Let me catch my breath and then I'll be back. Alright. I wonder, is it because I keep picking light armor? Let, let me let me hit the night robe and see if they'll at least let me wear that. All right, so there that is. My force points are regenerating, so let's get her to toss a heal and toss another heal, and maybe one more. There we go. No, oh, stop. All right. Nice. All right. That next battle is probably going to take a hot minute. So let me go ahead and save the game real quick. And we'll put the fifth of five battles with the sisters. And I think this one's going to be all five of them, if I'm reading things right. We'll put that in the next episode that goes up on YouTube. But right after this intermission, uh, soon. So, uh... Here we go. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. 
go to live.anonjr.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.